Alright guys, how's it going? It's a Friday afternoon, deadline day for me. I thought I would be a little bit cheeky and make a quick add-on video. And this is called Book Gen. Now talk about a blast from the past. If you've used Blender in the last 4 or 5 years, there's a good chance you've seen this add-on. If you're new to Blender, let's take a quick look. And let's spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. Now just as a quick tip, you may actually download the bookgen underscore master dot zip. If you go inside that folder, you'll see another folder called bookgen. If you take that out, zip it back up, that'll let you install it via the add-on preferences. So I'll press N to bring up my properties and you'll see the tab here called bookgen. Now it's fairly simple to use to be honest. I'm going to use the cube as a shelf. I'll hit add shelf button. I'll left click once, I'll drag out the books and I'll left click to drop. And we get a nice array of books and that's pretty much it. That's it, done, tutorial's finished. <laughs> so let me zoom in so we can get a better view. And let's take a look at a couple of the options. Now what I'm going to do first of all is add a quick material to the books. Now we can play around with the scale. We can also change the random seed. We can even influence the lean amount, so you know how books kind of lean a certain amount? We can play around with the direction, we can even play around with the angle. And there's a few additional options here, we can change the proportions of it, and we can also change some of the details like a text block offset. But that's pretty much the basics of it, so hit the add shelf button, left click, drag out, and look how quick that is. Great little tool. I apologise, I don't have much time to make much content in the moment, but just as an added bonus, if we jump into the shading tab, select the object, what I'm going to do here is, I'll add in an object info node, I'll also add in a colour ramp, I'll take the random factor, put that into the factor of the colour ramp, and then plug that into the base colour. If I start to add different colours in terms of the colour ramp, so let's add in a, an orange here, you can see I'm starting to add in random colours to the books. Now it's not the best to be honest, but if you're just needing something in the background, uh, it does the job. And that's pretty much book gen for you. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of mates there, you know what to do.